Hey everyone, I've got a real treat for you right here. It's a brand new model. This home is manufactured by Scott Built. And man, I'm gonna be honest with you, when I was walking out through here the other uh, yesterday, I thought this was a multi-section house so I got done here on the end. But this house on the inside is amazing. Y'all are gonna love the floor plan, I believe. Here's another house. So this whole row right here is a part of Champion. These are all different manufacturers that are technically under Champion, okay? We have Athens Park. Y'all know I've done several of them. I'm gonna be getting that house. Now I know it's totally different than this. It's a, you know, 399 square foot tiny home park model, but it's cool in itself. I'll let you know if it's already up. This is one we're gonna focus on. This is a 16 by 80, three bed, two bath. And then yes, we have a long line of other homes we'll be getting as well. We're at the 2024 Biloxi Manufacturer Housing Show. So we got two different types of vinyl here. And always keep in mind, customization and stuff can be done on all these homes, okay? Uh, those That's also Skyline. They're out of Leesville, Louisiana, Dresden, Tennessee. Look, this little beauty down here. It's not little, I don't know why I said that, but uh, actually, okay, let's run, we gotta run. There we go. Look at this, this is a multi-section house. I'm gonna be videoing it, okay, as well. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to trying to get you to watch this tour, but maybe after, watch one of these. <laughs> we got the transom windows here, and just massive windows, by the way. Let's go ahead and make our way in. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I hope maybe this tour is gonna make it just a little better. Okay, let's go. video is sponsored by Cascade Financial. Cascade has specialized in manufactured home loans since 1999. So whether you're looking to finance the home only or both the land and home together, Cascade has the right program for you. So as we come in, I was just thinking, you know, it's been quite some time since I've done any Scott builds. Y'all remember when I went, these are built out of Waycross, Georgia. I went to Waycross, Georgia a couple years ago. Look at this. I know I'm talking and just take that in, okay? I went to Waycross, Georgia, and got to tour all types of Scott built homes. But well, they've got a lot of new stuff. I'm actually gonna be going there sometime this year, I believe. So there's the living room. We come on into the kitchen now. I love this here area that we have with the bar stools. You got it set up. This is, uh, I, you know, my first thoughts is this kitchen is crazy wild. Like I have, like I've never toured anything like it, you know, but I think some of it is how they, they took this piece over here up and they took it across and comes down. It kind of separates your living room and your kitchen. You see what I'm saying? What do y'all think? Y'all drop a comment. Okay. We've got the backsplash. Now they the show just got over for the day. So there's some stuff around. So just look past that, please. But the backsplash there comes up here, comes down, comes back up there. So this is your window off the back where the kitchen sink is. You got the Springer faucet. Built here microwave, stainless steel appliances. There's those windows that I was pointing out on the exterior. Here's our back door, spot for your washer and your dryer. You got the rack above that. What is this? Is this a half bath? <laughs> it's gonna be a nice, oh goodness, I don't need to see all that. Goodness gracious. Is this nine? I believe this is nine foot ceilings in this house. Very tall ceilings. So you got like your nook right here or your dining area, whatever you like to call it. Um, you know, this house, a lot of times with a single wide, you've only got so much amount of space. So they've, they've incorporated this here, but if you really don't need it, you got the bar area, then you could definitely not have this and you have more walkthrough rooms. So just keep that in mind. What, what do y'all think? You think this, you like this here? 
um, or you just think you just not really use it, you'd rather have the bar area. Y'all let me know. So I'm gonna turn back this way, take you down, show you these guest rooms, and then we'll finish up on the other end with the finale. Oh, so first off, we have a bath. That's something I like to see because you think about it, it's right here by your front door, you know. It's kind of close to the living rooms. People don't have to go all the way down the hall if you got company over or something along those lines. Here's our first bedroom, and I'm glad to see this. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a look. You can see some of the different cabinet colors, and then you got different pools, you got different countertop options as well. Can't really see that that well, can you? You notice they went with the same flooring throughout. Now, obviously, if you needed some carpet or something like that, that could be an option as well. You can see some options there. I'm sorry, you can't see that, can you? I'll give you a closer look. Sometimes when I'm talking, I forget that y'all are watching through a, a camera. <laughs> I'm like, you see that over there? I've been noticing a lot of these pictures and a lot of the signs talking about like beach house and that's kind of the vibe I'm getting on this one. What are y'all, is it? I mean, is there anything like that coming across your mind? Look right there, it says beach house, but I guess maybe the colors and I guess it is all the decor and everything. These chairs really, they did that to me as well. Did a great job on staging this house. What all we got down here? We've got our furnace. There you are. And then we come into the main bedroom. We got two closets, check this out. So here's the first one. So I've actually mentioned it in another house, but so they cut the power each day here at the show at a certain time and it just happened, but I've got to get this, I've got to get this video shot. So that's why there's no power on. So I've got my light here on my camera. I think it'll be just fine. The main thing is like seeing that shower really well, which I'll give you some really good close ups. Water heater is going to be behind there, but yeah, two closets in your main bedroom. That's nice to, nice to see. And then we come in this bath. I noticed when I walked in, I was like a little dark in here and I want you to see this shower. I may try to, I may, I may be able to come back. We'll see. I'll do the best I can for y'all. Okay. Yeah, so I was able to come back and I wanna get you a shot with the power on right here. See, well, you didn't see the one other one. This looks a lot better. I'll just cut this in and then we'll cut back to the regular video, okay? 
sure I'm sure there's some other options and stuff on this as well. Keep that in mind. What about it? I mean, this house is a true contender. I've seen several single section homes here at the show that I've really been pleased with. This is definitely gonna be one of them. There's a few others I like a lot as well. Y'all, let's get some more information on this house. Uh, I wanna provide some stuff for you. Before we do that though, would you consider sharing? I would love for you to share this video with someone. Don't forget to subscribe and drop a like if you would like. Thank you. So when it comes to single wide mobile homes uh, here on the channel, you know, it's amazing how much y'all like those. Uh, and I've always tried to diversify and have a little bit of everything, but I see over and over again how well these perform. So I've got quite a few of them actually there at the show. I, I didn't, I, probably not exactly, but maybe toward as many of them as I did, you know, your multi-section double wides or whatever. Uh, so more is on the way with that being said. And if you wanna check out our single wide playlist, you can see all the single wides that I've toured over the years. You need to do that. This home, yeah, it does have nine foot ceilings. It's by Scott Built. And yes, you can tell this is like a new line. If you've seen some of the older homes I did a few years ago, they've really changed up a lot of things in their homes. And hopefully, actually in a few months, I'm gonna be going, or actually it'll be next month, I guess, gonna be going back to uh, Waycross. Uh, hopefully, I'm gonna be able to get some more of their models. So y'all stay tuned for all that. This home is 1,127 square foot, three bed, two bath, and is there anything else I'd like to go? I have, I'll have some information in the description for y'all on this particular house, uh, the model name, stuff like that. You also can see, um, if you've seen the, the floor plan that I put up at the beginning, you don't necessarily have to have that dormer there at your front door, which I do like, by the way, but you don't have to, or it didn't have the transom windows, uh, but I, I like all the stuff they added, you know, and so that'll really reflect on pricing stuff, which what we'll get into here in just a minute. But, you know, there's a lot of options these days on these houses, even a single wide, there's, there's so many options. You think about if you drop down to eight, eight foot ceiling or whatever, and you don't have those transom windows, you're saving money uh, without the dormer, stuff like that. So just keep all that in mind, we're gonna get into that. Now, if you didn't get to see Tuesday night's video, the one before this one, well, it's like twice this size. Uh, but it's a very cool home as well, so I encourage you to go back and check that house out if you have it. And if you want to see more, if you're if you're really into this and you want to and you're looking more for the affordable type stuff, I really try to put most of that on the second channel. It's Collier's Home World. I have that link to the second channel in the description. Okay, so keep that in mind. The only thing I really want to get into is well estimated retail pricing, but let me quickly say that this, these homes were set up at a show. And so what happens is retailers come in, you know, dealerships when you're driving down the road and you just like a car dealership, except it's a manufactured home dealership where they got houses set up that you can that you can purchase one from. Those are retailers. They come to these shows, they place orders and that sort of thing. So potentially by now, there's probably gonna be uh, dealers that have this house. I mean, somebody got that exact show model for sure, I know, uh, but anybody that carries Scott built can potentially have this particular model. And if you're in an area, and you can check them out online if you want to see dealers and stuff like that. But if you're in an area where you can get Scott Build Homes, then you can get this model, okay? So yeah, estimated retail pricing though. Uh, so yeah, with this being a show, we don't know freight charges we, from the manufacturing plant to the retailer, retailer to you. We don't know county, state fees, code, stuff like that. And then once again, the options. Like if you was to go lower side walls, without the windows, do some different things. Uh, maybe not go as extreme on the shower there. Just do a shower tub combo. A lot of different options. So between options, locations, and stuff like that, it's gonna have an impact on price. That's why I've got a range here you. Hear you? <laughs> I got a range for you here, but this will give you a great idea for at the time of recording, okay? <sighs> okay. I always see the comments and they're like, this guy just never gets to the point. And he's like, he just talks. And, and so you would think that I would like really do better, but I always wanna stress because I'm always thinking about that one person's first time seeing the videos, you don't even really know what's going on. I wanna be able to explain, help you under, understand everything, okay? The rest of y'all, fast forward. Or turn the speed up. I actually seen somebody do that on some of my videos. I was like, why do I sound like I'm talking so fast? They had the speed like 1.5 or something, which what a terrible idea. Okay, I'm gonna head out. Hope you have a tremendous rest of your day. God bless you all. Thank you so much for supporting me in the channel. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, Saturday night. And let me just tell you, 
my videos are better than Saturday Night Live. Plus, they come out before.